Hey, Pop Culture Pals, it's Cynthia, and I am back finally with a haul for you. Um, the things that I picked up at some recent estate sales and thrift stores. Um, I found some really interesting things in the last week, so I thought I would share them with you. And I'm actually debating one of the best things I found were some Disney music boxes that are amazing, but they are literally like packed away solid. When I bought them, we'll explain when we get there. I always get ahead of myself. Let's start with what's in front of me. So we'll start with this big crazy hat. This is from Six Flags um, over in California. That's not too far from where, well, it's a good three hour drive from where I live, but it's not that far. It's actually one of those kind of uh, California things. Um, and I think most of you know Six Flags has all these superhero themed roller coasters. And so this is a very cool big hat. Um, I can't figure this out though. See this weird line? I don't know if like that's a mistake. Like did somebody slice this hat accidentally? It doesn't seem to be cut. I don't know, but we'll just disclose when we put it on eBay. It's a really cool giant hat. So that's going up. Um, if you are the first time watching most of this stuff, oh no, I'm gonna see if, uh, is for sale on eBay. Excuse my arm. That was a really bad view. Uh, we'll be selling most of this on eBay unless I tell you otherwise. And you'll find a link to our eBay store in the description below. Go on over and make us an offer. Um, so this was kind of fun, very reminiscent of my teenage years. Optics Blacklight Reactive Cloth Wall Hanging. You can see it here. It's uh, an old uh, art from Alice in Wonderland, uh, the original, not the Disney version. And it's a fairly big 23 by 28 a fabric tapestry that you can hang up that glows in the dark. Uh, found that for, um, I think this was like $2, but it's half price day at Salvation Army. I got the hat for like a dollar, dollar fifty, and this also was like a dollar fifty. I picked up a couple of shirts. This one um, I kind of debated about because it's a little bit rough here, but it's the Married with Children logo and it's nice and embroidered. So I don't know if it was a crew shirt or something. Um, I There's nothing else on the shirt. It's just generic canes. But um, yeah, I'm sure there's a Married with Children fan out there that will want that. And then this is um, the Steve McQueen line of shirts so you'll see if you see them there they say Steve McQueen in there it's Troy Lee designs and there's um a half a dozen or so shirts in this line they're mostly images of Steve McQueen related to his racing uh, motorcycle racing in this case but also car racing um this one isn't one of the more desirable shirts um I like this double stitching here the yellow one there's some gray versions that are a little bit more popular. They actually seem to have come down some in popularity. The last time I found one of these, they were selling for like $30. Um, and my husband insisted on keeping one of them. Uh, so, but now they're not quite going for that, but still Steve McQueen, I couldn't leave that behind. Bullet fan, big bullet fan. This, I should have saved this for last, but how crazy is this? So let's talk about this shirt. Uh, oh, there's the bottom. Uh, so this, let me see if I can get a better view for you here. This is Scooby Natural. Uh, it is Sam and Dean Winchester from Supernatural combined with Scooby-Doo, which may just sound like some crazy fan mashup, but if you're not um, following Supernatural, this show is actually this very week doing an animated crossover episode. Now, I haven't been the most loyal fan recently. I used to never, never, never miss an episode but this one is going to get me back because I've always really loved their themed episodes. Uh, monster movie that they did, Changing Channels. Anytime they really do a deep dive and they do a great job at capturing from beginning to end the feeling of uh, whatever the theme is that they're doing. So this time it's Scooby-Doo. We're going to have the mystery machine and everybody. And they even went through the trouble to animate um, Sam and Dean. Now, what's really weird is... I found this shirt yesterday at Salvation Army. Now, art from this episode has only been out, I don't know, a week, couple weeks. I'm not saying somebody couldn't get their hands on it earlier, but basically. Um, so somebody printed the shirt, donated the shirt, and I found the shirt all in the week that it's gonna air. It's so strange. I am thinking that the person who made this shirt gave it to the, because of this. So this mark here is unfortunate because it does disrupt the shirt. So I couldn't leave it behind. 
because of what it was. Um, but I know it isn't going to be, yeah, I mean, it, it's not a holy grail of shirts. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I did see that Hot Topic already has a line of Scooby Natural shirts out. So um, it's going to be their biggest episode, I swear. It's going to be their highest rated episode ever this week, which is so funny. So um, this is going to go up. It won't fit me. So this is, it's an extra large. If you're interested, this is going to go up on eBay. And um, like I said, definitely make me an offer because I know that flaw is a little bit of an issue, but maybe you could take a gray pen and color that in or something, or you doesn't matter if you're going to sleep in it. I don't know, but it's a fun shirt. All right. Oh, this was a weird little piece I picked up. I went to an estate sale yesterday that had a ton of stuff. I went back today thinking I was going to grab more of same, um, but uh, they were really picked over. And so when they're picked over, I start finding, digging a little deeper. And I found this very nice pack of Lego licensed uh, wrapping paper. Uh, so I think it's, it actually, believe it or not, sells for like $10. Um, I don't know if somebody would really wrap a present in paper that costs them 10 bucks, but it'd be fun to wrap a box that you, you know, keep with Legos in it or something if you're a big Lego fan. So I thought that was kind of fun. I think I paid like 50 cents for it. Um, so the, I'm going to save him for a minute. Um, I'm going to save her for a minute. Let's go to these. So this was my biggest find. Well, maybe. Uh, they actually might be. Ooh! So these are the Wizard of Oz MGM uh, figurines that came from Franklin Mint. <sighs> 80s? Early 90s? Not sure which. So we've got the Flying Monkey. We have Miss Gulch. You know. And your little dog, too. Well, she's going to become him. And... Professor Marvel, who will, of course, become the wizard. Um, what's interesting is that she had the full set. We'd actually been at this estate sale before. And um, I didn't buy these at the time because they were a little too pricey. The second time around, I found this one in a box buried in the upstairs. I'm hoping that's not broken. Um these two were sitting downstairs and then I realized I could buy, get all three of them together. And what's funny is somebody bought the more common characters, Dorothy, Tin Man, all that. They left these behind and these actually are the more valuable ones as far as I can see, especially the flying monkey. Um, he could potentially go for like 40 bucks. Is that crazy? Uh, and I think it's because they are the more unusual characters that you don't see that often. So they're pretty fun. So between them, this could be almost a hundred dollars worth of figures. Um, also, because I was really scanning for anything, I picked these up today. These are old Disneyland brochures from 1986. And what I loved about them is Star Tours, the adventure is real. Look at this. Opening January 9th, which is funny because another one of the brochures says that it was expected to open October. Um, so it looks like it got delayed. And then I've never seen this holiday highlights at the Disneyland Motel. She's kind of scary. And there was one other interesting thing. Oh, here. So Captain EO. Tomorrowland. Oh, yeah. Here's the Star Tours opening. And Disneyland Today. This was November 1986. So they went right at the start of the Christmas season. Oh, this was weird, too. This was in there. It was some kind of a little um, 30th birthday year. You're our guest. Oh, look at that. You're our 251,348,000 million, I'm sorry, I'm not saying it right, something guest. And then they were giving these away. Oh, okay, I was thinking it was the person's 30th birthday. So on Disney's 30th birthday, they gave out these scratch-off tickets that you could scratch off and win. That's interesting. Have they done that since? And it tells you what guest number you were. That's crazy. Uh, and then, so yeah, and then here's the things that were happening in Disneyland that day. Celsi Paradise Review, the Tahitian Terrace was still there. Videoopolis Magic of Christmas show. Yeah, fun. Um, so I actually have some other somewhere, Disney, old Disney brochures. And so I might combine them. So like I'll probably do a set 
Uh, they're not worth a ton. I thought they'd be worth more, especially considering it's Star Tours year. But, um, you know, somebody will want them for historic, you know, nostalgia purposes. Um, I got this little, I'm just going to turn you, that little Bugs Bunny over there. He was one of those Warner Brothers um, blind boxes. Got him at the Goodwill for 2 or $3, more than he was worth, because he's a, a common. Anyway, so this was kind of a wild card, little wild thing that I got for a wild card. This is one of these um, shelf sitters. She's got like a heavy beaned bottom. And her face and her hands are like a resin. I thought first paper mache, but they're not. They're more of a resin. There's her face better there. Um, she's pretty cool. She's got a lot of weight to her. There's no tag on her. So I, I don't think she's any particular exciting brand. But uh, I think that she's got some value because she's pretty cool. And when I found her, I once again went on this thought I have all the time that I want to run an eBay store that's nothing but Halloween stuff. But um, that would involve buying like everything Halloween that I find when I'm out, which is, I find quite a bit actually. But most of it's generic, a lot of candle holders and things, um, a lot of, you know, cardboard, styrofoam gravestones. I'm surprised so many people have those. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure that there is a lot of um, value in some of those items. But if I was going to do a store of exclusively those items, I would have to buy a lot more. Um, so this was one of my favorite finds of the week. Recognize him? This is from Page Master. Remember the movie Page Master? This is the Horror Hunchback. So all of the creatures are books in Page Master. And then this opens and inside is his little book. So Horror's Ghoulish Games of Page Master. And then, um, yeah, the little book's not in such great condition. Ooh, look at that. And so it feels like there was probably more here and it got ripped. I don't know. But that goes in the little back pocket. And it's from Applause. Remember then? They used to make all of the top licensed toys. So he's so adorable. And of all of the ones from this, this is the one I most would have loved to find. He's, they said he's the horror book. He's so cute. So um, his value is kind of all over the place. I, I've seen him go for as much as like 30 and other times not so much. I think he's very specific because you've, you've got to know this movie and be a big fan of this movie. But there are plenty of fans out there or maybe just a fan of if you're just a horror, read a lot of horror books, he would be very cool to put on your shelf. So he's going to get listed a little bit later on today. Um, I picked up a couple of other things. I don't know how much of it's worth showing you. I'll just show you this one piece. This is a piece. Um, it took me some real doing to figure out what this set was. I guess there was a Mega Bloks Disney. Oh, no, it's called Mickey Mouse Playhouse or Clubhouse. And if you search Disney, it doesn't come up because it's like not actually, you know, it's licensed Disney, but um, this one's got a few marks on it, sadly. It's all right there. Uh, so it's it's a chunky, kind of like a preschool building toy. Um, and this is just one piece of a set. I don't have most of the rest of this set. I found it with pieces from another set. I guess there were three or four different sets that you could get. Um, I grabbed up all the pieces. They were scattered all over the, literally the floor and in boxes at an estate sale. I had no idea what they were at the time, but I just, I recognized the Mickey iconography. Um, is that, would that be the correct term for that? And um, grabbed everything I could find that had a similar look to it, assuming it all went together. And most of it did. I think it was only one piece that didn't. Ooh, sorry. That was loud. Um, oh, hang on. <laughs> Chair stuck. Yeah, because like this was in there, but that's not. That's just a PVC, you know, goofy. He, he doesn't actually go with the other piece. Um, I did also get, sorry, I keep reaching in front of the camera. I picked these up for myself to enjoy for a while. I love Penguins of Madagascar. And there's Private and his egg. And then... <laughs> so 
So these came with the uh, Target version of the Penguins of Madagascar movie. They were a little bonus uh, piece. Um, they came, I, I got them in the box. They didn't have the DVD attached. Again, I paid like a dollar or two for them. I just thought they were really sweet and fun to have on my desk for a little while. I don't think they had any major value. Uh, what else have I got to show you? I bought Build-A-Bear. You can't see it really where. Un unlicensed Build-A-Bear. Uh, military outfit. This is a Cabbage Patch Kids cowgirl set. Kind of you can see things like that. That's the saddle for the little show pony. That actually has value on its own, which is kind of crazy, but it does. Uh, those. Um, this is going to be tricky to show you. I paid $1.50 for it because it was on sale. If you're my age, again, you'll remember these. These were the veggie um, Tupperware. Put the lid here. And it originally came with a cap that you put on this, so you put your dressing in the inside and then all your different veggies around, and then snap on the snazzy Tupperware seal in the freshness lid, and then you could carry it to the party. And there you go. Then you don't have to worry about serving dish. It's a serving platter all in one. Um, these sell for like 14 or 15 dollars again totally I mean not that they're not useful but nostalgia value absolutely but since they don't have the little lid for the inside that might be an issue um, uh, what else did I get well these aren't pop culture things but I'll show them to you oh that's not open I'm not going to show it to you I got two big boxes of very nice beads and jewelry findings from somebody who gave up their jewelry making. These are really nice in here. They're almost like lamp work beads. Um, so we'll see what we can do with those. And, all right, maybe I'll pull out one. Hang on, let me do some rearranging. So this woman whose house I was shopping in bought like every, oh my God, like the Franklin Mint dolls, the plates, all those plates that you see that have like I Love Lucy plates and the Gone with the Wind plates and every collectible line of those kind of things, dolls, plates, she bought them. And this one was part of a line of Disney, um, Grolier uh, used to do uh, books, used to do a line of, of Disney books, and I guess they did a line of Disney musical memories, they're called uh, ceramic music boxes. And she had a dozen of them, but most of the ones I found had been broken, and I really debated buying them. I probably should have, because even broken, I think they had a lot of value. Once I realized, though, that this is what the box looked like, this box was sealed in the room had never been opened ever, ever, ever. So she bought it, got it, never opened it in 20 plus years. So um, I opened it just to make sure it was what it said, but everything else she had was clearly marked, so I was pretty sure it was. And I'm gonna I'll take this one out of the box for you. So what I love, and I think what everybody loves about these particular uh, music boxes is they are from some of the more unusual Disney movies. Um, not the ones you see all the time, the Cinderella's, the Snow White's, and all of that. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have taken it out. So all the, all the paperwork is still here, which is amazing. Uh, oh yeah, here we go, Musical Memories. So this one is, there it is, Musical Memories. This is Black Cauldron, limited worldwide edition of 19,000. Um, so, who, you remember Black Cauldron? Open this carefully. So beautiful. I kind of almost don't want to part with it. We have our bathrooms like all done in Disney and um, yeah, I kind of like 
So Black Cauldron, beautifully made piece. Um, the other one I got was Great Mouse Detective. See what I mean? It's still completely wrapped in, and it's um, the little boy from the Black Cauldron, and he goes in here. I'm going to see if I can do it without unwrapping him completely because i got to put it back. And hopefully he'll go together properly. See, this is the trouble I had with the other one. Because it was very difficult to screw him on there. Sorry, I know I'm out of frame. But I'm trying to make this, figure this out. Okay, I don't know. This is the same problem I had with the other one that we left behind. So I'm going to set that aside for the moment, and then I'm just going to turn this on. So it plays, I guess, the theme to the Black Cauldron. There's the limited edition number in the back. Wow, it's pretty. I can't say that I know what it is. I really don't know this movie very well. I've heard of it. Certainly, um, but I don't know it. It's very magical, very Harry Potter sounding. Lovely. And it turns off. So, um, I, so I said I got this and I got Great Mouse Detective. And I realized going back, I should have bought more. So she, I only got them, I only paid $10 for this. 10. Um, they sell for in the $70 range. Uh, they are hefty and they will cost quite a bit to ship. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get out for a second while I've got to figure out what's going on. So that's it. I'm going to stop there. Um, some cool stuff. If you went thrifting this week or just regular store even and you bought some pop culture goodies, I would love to hear about it. I bought a lightsaber too. <laughs> I just remembered I bought that too. I had a lot of stuff this week. Absolutely tell me about it. I would love to hear about your pop culture finds. And are you looking forward to Scooby Natural? Tell me about that. Do you remember The Black Cauldron? Is it one of your favorite Disney movies? Or Page Master? If you remember Page Master and or Black Cauldron, absolutely leave me a comment and let me know because I think they're, they're from two different eras, but they are very, a um, little bit more obscure cult movies that if you haven't seen them, you should. And I'm gonna have to see if I can't find The Black Cauldron. I don't know if it's out on DVD. That might be one of the reasons it's more rare film, but I'm going to see if I can't find it and watch it. You have a great rest of your day.